there is a scripture that you must remember in the month of Shabbat. Hallelujah. You find it in Zechariah 1 verse 17. My towns will again overflow with prosperity and the Lord will again comfort Zion and choose Jerusalem. My God, my God. So in Shabbat, this is the time for us to say, God will prosper me again. God will comfort me again. And God will choose me. Hallelujah. Repeat after me. God will prosper me again. God will comfort me again. And God will choose me again. Hallelujah. But you may say, Apostle, how to get that prosperity? How to get that comfort? How to be chosen? Yes, there is a report concerning you. And if this report is good, guess what? This is what will happen in your life in the new year. But let us go back in Zechariah 1 verse 7. Let's start the reading. Verse, verse 7. On the 24th day of the 11th month, the month of Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to me, came to the prophet Zechariah, son of Berechiah, the son of Ido. During the night, I had a vision, and there before me was a man riding a red horse. He was standing among the metal trees in a ravine. Behind him were red, brown, and white horses. I asked, what are these, my Lord? Amen and amen. So, Zechariah had a vision and saw a man riding a red horse, a man and a man, among the metal trees in a ravine. My God, my God. And that man riding the red horse had other people mounted on other horses. Some of the horses were red, brown, and white. The angel who was talking with me answered, I will show you what they are. Then the men standing among the metal trees explained. That means the men on the red horse among the metal tree trees said they are the ones the Lord has sent to go throughout the earth verse 11 and they reported to the angel of the Lord who was standing among the metal trees amen and amen we have gone throughout the earth and found the whole world at rest and in peace so my brothers, my sisters, you hear this? On the 24th day of Shabbat, there is a report. This is why we call. I remember when I received the revelation and the Lord said to me, said to me, do you know what is, why, what is happening in Shabbat? Shabbat? Shabbat is the month of a 
evangelic report where I, the Lord Jesus, received the annual report. I said, my God, my God, I got to preach that to your people. And this is why the devil is against me. The devil doesn't want Christians to know there is a report and we are in that mode. This is a qualifying mode where well, you're going to be qualified for this overflowing prosperity, for the comfort of the Lord, and to be chosen by Him. But the report was from the angels mounted on the red, brown, and white horses, we found the whole world at peace. At rest and at peace. My God, my God. Will your angel will say, will your angel say to Lord Jesus, they find you at rest. They find you at peace. <laughs> and, and some people may say, oh no, they will not find me at rest. I got trouble, trouble, trouble. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then the angel of the Lord, that means Jesus, before Jesus came on earth, he was known as the angel of the Lord, said, Lord Almighty, this is why I say, after Jesus received your report, the report concerning you, he will utter a prayer. And now, he received the report, and he uttered a prayer. He said, Lord Almighty, now he's praying to the Father. Lord Almighty, this is what will happen on the 24th for you. Jesus will say, Lord Almighty. But at this time, listen to his prayer. How long will you withhold mercy from Jerusalem and from the towns of Judah? Amen and amen. Which you have been angry with. These 70 years. My God, my God, let's stop there. The Lord Jesus said, how long? You know, Jesus was an advocate for the people of Israel even before he came on earth. He said, how long? How long, Father God? How long, Lord God Almighty? And this is the type of prayer Jesus when you say to somebody, pray for me, they don't have such heart to say, how long will you be angry? But you know, the part we must remember, the God can be angry at you for 70 years. This is a lifetime. This is a generation. We don't want that. <laughs> this is why I say to people, before the 24th, I want somebody, if you take your intro, you got that mountain that you keep going around. <laughs> Hallelujah. As God for forgiveness. You don't want to have your rest of your life struggling. How long will you withhold? That means God can withhold mercy. And said, I will not have mercy on you. From Jerusalem and from the towns of Judah. Amen and amen. So, they find the whole world at peace, but no peace in Jerusalem. No peace in the town of Judah. Verse 13. So the Lord spoke kind and comforting words to the angel who talked with me. Amen and amen. My God, my God. Then the angel was speaking to me said, proclaim this word, this is what the Lord Almighty says, I am very jealous for Jerusalem and Zion, but I am very angry with the nations that feel secure. I was only a little angry, but they added to the calamity. My God, my God. Now, the Lord explaining himself, the Lord God Almighty said, I was a little angry. But they, they took advantage. They took advantage. 
and they added to the punishment of Jerusalem. So you imagine the whole world is doing good, but the people of Israel is not doing so good. They were the lowly people. Amen and amen. This is why God doesn't want to hear a leader talking bad about a lowly nation. A lowly nation. In addition to the punishment of this nation. Like you see Asian people fleeing Haiti and come over here to have a good life, good taxpayer, never been in trouble. And then now you, you, you picking on them. When the Lord said, you should, you should respect the alien, the fatherless, the widow, not to pick on them. Amen and amen. Do not add to their punishment. He said, I am very angry with the nations that persecute you. I was only a little angry, but they added to the calamity. So, Haiti, the Lord God Almighty probably was angry at Haiti. And then now, they want to add to our punishment. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will return to Jerusalem with mercy. Amen and amen. This is what I'm talking about. God, in the month of Shabbat, will decide. Okay, now, after hearing the prayer of Jesus, you know what I said to Jesus? You are going, not only to say a little prayer for me, but I want you to say a little prayer for Haiti. <laughs> amen and amen. And you imagine if God said this, he said, I will return to Haiti with mercy. <laughs> amen, amen. I will return to Jerusalem with mercy. And there my house will be rebuilt. And the measuring line will be stretched out over Jerusalem, declares the Lord Almighty. That means this will come from God. Amen. The sovereign Lord. Amen and amen. And this is the scripture. I said to you to remember, proclaim, proclaim further. This is what the Lord Almighty says. My towns will again overflow with prosperity. That means this town you see like that, this little country you see like that, this little country will have prosperity. Amen and amen. And the Lord will again comfort Zion and choose Jerusalem. But in my meditation, the Lord said, why do you see I mention amen and amen Zion and I mention Jerusalem. Amen and amen. He said, yes. Zion. Hallelujah. Is the dwelling of the Lord. Hallelujah. And Jerusalem, the city of God. And also, he said, in the prayer of Jesus, he said, How long will, will you withhold mercy from Jerusalem and the town of Judah? Jerusalem, the city of God, and the town of Judah. As Christians, we don't, you, we don't, I'm saying things here, you don't analyze. When they mention Judah, we are in it. We are in it. Amen and amen. We are in it. Because we are, when we are Christ, when we belong to Christ, we are Abraham's seed. Amen and amen. And we know Jesus is from the tribe of Judah. Amen, amen. This blessing is for us Christian. I want you to go out there and tell Christian that there is a month called the month of Shabbat and we are in it in which you are going to have a report concerning you. They said, whoa, 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 where well, this is in the Bible. And get ready to explain. Get ready to explain. And tell them, 
It's not about me wishing you a happy new year. <laughs> it's about you passing this report. Amen and amen. Last week, we hear Moses saying something extraordinary. Before he even blessed the people, he said, you've been around that mountain long enough. <laughs> amen and amen. Before, before he even blessed them with the thousandfold blessings. You have to identify your mountain, identify your problem, and then you pray accordingly. You pray accordingly. And you do a little report concerning yourself and say to the angels, okay, you know what? I have repeated. Oh, I'm doing better. I hope your report is right concerning me. I want my God to bless my town. Uh, overflow my town with prosperity. Amen and amen. Because when your town is blessed, you are blessed. So, oh, this is where, where the rich people live. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And uh, my towns will again overflow with prosperity. And the Lord will again comfort Zion. Amen and amen. The city Zion is the dwelling of the Lord. The, you know, you know the people living in the city that serving God, and they become right there where you live, the city of God, Jerusalem. Amen and amen. My brothers, my sisters, I don't know. I do not know what the, your report will be, but you can change this report into a good one by you taking stock and account of yourself and pray accordingly and say to Jesus, utter a prayer on my behalf. And I know my Father God will answer and declare that I will prosper, that I will be comforted, I will be chosen again. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.